In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about the NCSC's Cyber Assessment Framework, or CAF. So CAF is a framework, and the purpose of this framework is to provide a structured way of assessing the cybersecurity of an organization. So what is the National Cybersecurity Center? Well, the NCSC is part of GCHQ, so a major part of their job is to help provide guidance to the public and private sectors in the UK. So by developing a framework like CAF, the NCSC really hopes to improve the UK's security posture as a whole. Before we go further into CAF, let's just cover some definitions. So in cybersecurity, guidelines refer to recommended practices or strategies. So generally, they're not mandatory and they just provide advice about something. A framework in cybersecurity is just a structured set of guidelines. Frameworks often integrate various guidelines together to build a sort of blueprint or a roadmap in order to get somewhere or, or be something. Um, a standard is a specific set of criteria. So standards are more rigid and defined compared to frameworks. And they can be voluntary, but they can also be mandatory depending on the context. Okay, so what exactly is CAF? So CAF is a comprehensive set of cybersecurity guidelines. So it's a framework and it's designed to help organizations improve their cybersecurity, especially organizations involved with critical infrastructure. So the layout of CAF, CAF is divided into four main objectives. So these objectives kind of make it easier for an organization to understand which part of cybersecurity to work on. These objectives are built around 14 principles which go kind of further into detail about specific parts of cybersecurity. So for example, B2 is for everything related to identity and access management. Each principle can be broken down again into a contributing outcome, and each outcome is associated with an indicator of good practice, or an IGP. These IGPs can gauge how well you align with each principle, and they're really helpful because they don't just tell you what to do to align with something, like it won't just say um, have MFA, but it will give you an example of how good MFA is implemented. It can show you how effective you are at the principle. And each IGP can either be fully, partially or not achieved. So going over the main objectives, the first one, objective A, involves um, identifying and reducing cyber risk down to an acceptable level. So it focuses on being proactive rather than reactive. Objective B is for protecting against attacks. So it kind of talks about all the different solutions and processes used to protect systems and data from attacks. Objective C is about detecting cybersecurity events. So it kind of goes into more detail about how organizations can successfully identify something that looks unusual or malicious behavior uh, within your system. And objective D is minimizing the impact of incidents. So uh, it's about resilience and how well your services or your whole business can withstand and recover from an attack or a system being breached. So CAF categorizes its guidelines into two profiles. The baseline is the foundational level. So it's there to help you realize if you have any gaps in your security and just to ensure that you're equipped to handle the kind of the, the most basic uh, cyber threats. The enhance just builds upon the baseline and is aimed at organizations that face a higher risk. Just to be clear, CAF is customizable. So it's your choice which profile you choose. The NCSC made CAF as a resource to help businesses that want to improve their cybersecurity but don't know how. So how does CAF compare to other security protocols? Um, NIST cybersecurity framework or ISO 27001 standard are probably two of the most uh, recognized protocols. Both of these are very broad, which is good because they can help organizations of all different size, working in all different sectors, but it's a little different to CAF, where CAF's approach is more specific, particularly for risks associated with handling critical infrastructure. Um, but all three of these protocols are very much related. They can all provide assistance with cybersecurity, Although ISO is also a certification, so it can be used to prove an organization has achieved a certain level of cybersecurity. So an important thing to note about CAF is that it is a self-assessment tool. It's not tied to a formal certification process like ISO 27001. It's a self-assessment. So with CAF, 
organizations are kind of encouraged to continually revisit and refine their cybersecurity, you know, improve anything they can. Um, it's not just about meeting external standards for the sake of ticking a box or just to be compliant with something. There's no certification. CAF, you can't be CAF certified. Um, the whole point is just to encourage organizations to engage in discussion and try to adopt practices that are the most relevant for them. As always, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or queries, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll also include more information about CAF in the description.